When it comes to Unify access points, it can be a real minefield about what to choose to put in your setup and which ones will benefit you the most. There are approximately 17 different access points which can be used in different scenarios. So I've created this video to break down the different access points and hopefully give you a better understanding of which ones to pick. Before we get started, all the links to the access points that we discussed today are in the description below. They are linked to my Amazon affiliate account, so please do use them as it helps my channel out and helps me to bring you more content. So let's start by looking at the different generations. There is a generation two, which is AC wave one, generation three, which is AC wave two, and Wi-Fi six, which is not currently listed on the table on Unify's website, but I'm sure it will be there soon. But for the sake of this video, we'll call it generation four. On the technical side, AC Wave 1 is focused on the performance of the five gigahertz range. It also has support for 80 megahertz channels, two spatial streams, and support for three single user MIMO. If you don't know what MIMO is, it stands for multiple in, multiple out. Basically, what it means is there's multiple devices going in and out. You can sort of think of it like a road. So after wave one came wave two, where they added a wider range of channels, up to four spatial streams, and then multi-user, multiple in, multiple out. You can see the difference between the single user and multi-user, multiple in, multiple out. Recently, along came generation four, which is the Unify 6 range. This houses the new Wi-Fi 6 technology, and this can also be referred to 802.11ax. What this gives you is improved device performance, support for WPA3, which is an increase in security, and the use of OFDMA. OFDMA stands for Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access. Well, I'm not even actually gonna to attempt to describe this to you. You can see the image on the screen, which shows it a little bit better. You can see OFDM on the left, how each segment is used for different users on different networks and how much wasted spectrum there is in the gray. Now for OFDMA, you can see the full segment is used on all different networks, so there is no waste. It just makes it more efficient and less delay. So that's the three different generations Ubiquiti have to offer. Now if you've made up your mind already which generation you're gonna be buying, and if the answer is yes and Unify 6 range, then you might wanna stick around because currently the options are very limited but I'll cover this shortly. One other thing, I didn't cover generation one that you probably saw earlier on. Purely the fact is that Ubiquiti no longer sell any of these models. So let's step back to generation two and have a look at the different models available and the specifications. So get your pen and paper ready, because there's quite a few. So let's start off with the light model, which gives you speeds of up to 300 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz range and 867 megabits per second on the five gigahertz range. It has a range of 122 meters. This comes in at $89 or 74 pounds. The AC long range model has a further range as you would expect of 183 meters. The five gigahertz is the same as the light model it has 450 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz range. This model sets you back $109 or 95 pounds. Next, AC Pro. Now this model has the same 122 meters as the light, but it has a faster five gigahertz range of 1300 megabits per second, but the 2.4 gigahertz is the same as the long range, which is 450 megabits per second. This one sets you back $149 or 130 pounds. Now generally, one of these three would be the one that you pick if you were gonna choose something from generation two. These three are the most popular models of the generation two, but keep in mind the Wi-Fi range is not always exactly what it says. So whereas it says 122 meters or 183 meters, there are multiple factors which come into play which can affect the maximum range that you will get. Another model of the generation two, similar to the AC Pro, we have the AC Pro EDU. This is exactly the same in terms of features. However, it includes a public address speaker. This one comes in at $399 and it's not available in Europe. 
Next, we have the AC mesh models, which can be used both indoors and out. It's used to create your own mesh network and gives you the same sort of performance as the AC light. This comes in at $99 or £85. Or if you're looking for something with a bit more speed on your mesh network, then there is the AC Mesh Pro. What you'll get from this is 450 megabits per second on the 2.4 and 1300 megabits per second on the 5. And with that, you double your price. So you're looking at $199 or £170. The last one in the Gen 2 range, you have the AC Inwall. This model again is the same as the light, however it's designed to be in your wall. It fits in a one gang plug, so it finishes nicely. And again, this one comes in at $99. So there are a few different models for generation two. Likely with this range, you'll be looking at something like the AC Lite, the AC Long Range, or the AC Pro. Next, we look at generation three, which has the AC Wave 2 which has additional improvements that I mentioned earlier. So to start this range, we'll take a look at the AC HD. So this has a 4x4 MIMO on both the 2.4 and the 5 GHz range. These give you speeds of up to 800 megabits per second and 1733 megabits per second respectively. This model will cost you $349 or £308. The next model up from this is the SHD. This will cost you $549 or £491. The additional $200 gets you a dedicated security radio with persistent threat monitoring. So this is a very security-based access point. Now continuing with the high-end range, you have the UAP-XG and the UWB-XG. These two models both come with 10 gigabit ethernet support and the UWB-XG model is designed for large venues. So you're looking at arenas, stadiums, concerts, that sort of thing. Keep in mind, these are complete overkill for any house or small business, and the price definitely reflects that. The UAP XG comes in at $799 or £715, and the UWB XG comes in at $1499 or £1356. Now the most popular in this range would most probably be the Nano HD. This gives you the same speed as the others, which is the 5 GHz, 1733 megabits per second. However, on the 2.4, there is only a 2x2 MIMO, so the speed drops down to 300 megabits per second. The Nano HD will set you back $179 or 160 pounds. Along with the Nano HD, there is an in-wall model, which comes in at the same price. This is currently only available in North America. However, this includes four gigabit ports with it. There is also a Flex HD model, which is not designed for your wall or ceiling mounts, but it's more designed for something like a tabletop or a pole, which is also the same price. The final one in the generation three model is the Beacon HD. Now this doesn't require a physical connection to the back of the unit. You can plug this straight into your wall socket and it will act as a mesh device. So it connects to an existing access point on your network. The performance, however, will vary depending on the signal strength. However, it does claim you can get over 300 megabits per second on this access point. So looking at back at generation three, you're likely to be looking at one of the following. You'll be looking at the Nano HD, the in-wall HD, or the Flex HD. Last but not least, we look at Unify 6, AKA generation four. Now I said earlier that the range is very limited. There are only two models available at this point. And at the time of this recording, one of those models is still on pre-order. That model is the Unify 6 long range. Interestingly now, Unify do not give a range on their products because there are too many varying factors. However, the long range does come with a 4x4 MIMO on both the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz range. So that gives a maximum capable speed of 2,400 megabits per second on the 5 gigahertz and 600 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz. A quick side note on this, for those who haven't upgraded their Unify network controller to version 6.0.34 or higher, you will not be able to use this access point. You will, however, be able to use the light model. This long range access point will set you back $179 or £160 in the UK. Now the second model in the Unify 6 range 
is the Unify 6 Lite. This model only has 2x2 MIMO in both 2.4GHz and 5GHz. So the speeds drop down to 600 megabits per second and 1200 megabits per second respectively. This model, however, is a little bit cheaper at $99 and 85 pounds in the UK. If you want the latest and greatest, and let's be honest, who doesn't, then the Unify 6 is probably for you. It seems like Unify are going back to their generation two names of their access points. So I'm really wondering if there's gonna be a pro model coming out soon. One thing to note though, not all devices will be capable of using the full capability of the Unify 6. However, to future-proof your product, you may wanna get this one. We did just cover a lot of models and I'm hoping that wasn't too much information overload. If you found this video useful, drop me a thumbs up or a comment in the section below. Please remember to subscribe for more great content. And again, a reminder, I've listed all the models in the description below with my Amazon affiliate link. If you have any questions about these models, please drop them again in the comments below. If you wanna see more comparison material around the Ubiquiti equipment, please let me know and I'll see what I can do. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.